Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Sport Aviation Expo 2014 in Sebring, Florida, where the power plant segment is not just dominated by Rotax, it's owned by Rotax. Two years ago, the company introduced a follow-on to the popular 912 series engine called the 912 IS, and here's Dean Vogel of Lockwood Aviation to give us a progress report on that engine's entry into the market. It's now almost two years since the 912 IS was released uh, by Rotax. Um, we've been through two years of experience in the field. Uh, most everybody has been very, very happy with the engine. Uh, there have been some issues that have come up, but the uh, ma vast majority of the issues that I've been dealing with with customers had to do with the installation issues, something that was done, I hesitate to say the word wrong, but something that was done uh, that caused the issue itself on the engine. Other than that, the engine has been great. Uh, We've got some sensors that we have learned to tie down a little better so they don't uh, cause flashing lights. Um, people learning how to use them, how to set up the switches and things like that. We've been operating IS engines on the uh, Lockwood Air Cam for the last year and a half. Uh, actually, for a year, we ran it side by side with the ULS engine. Very pleased uh, in what we learned in a comparison between the ULS and the, and the IS engines on the Air Cam the improvement in fuel burn, the smoothness of the engine, uh, just a variable, very desirable engine to have. Um, at this point now, the, uh, the factory has compiled a number of things they wanted to change about the software, so they've just come out with their first release on a software change. So the, the, um, the aircraft now that are flying IS engines are going through those right now. Um, and we we did those on the air cam yesterday and flew the airplane last night and it's seamless. I mean, we, we haven't noticed any difference at all. Um, and we're going to be doing some, some testing here in the near future for some specific parameters that we know were changed to see if it makes a difference in our installation. But uh, yeah, it's in some of the manufacturers that are using the 912 IS engine, they're, it, it's almost like they're not selling anything else anymore. If it's available on their airplane, that's what they're selling. We haven't had any difficulties. We've had uh, some uh, parts that needed to be replaced, EGT sensors, uh, things like that, and uh, Kodiak has got a good stock already, so we've been able to turn those around pretty quickly. And if anybody has questions on the IS engine or Rotex engines at all, for that matter, uh, you can find us at www.lockwood.aero. That's A-E-R-O, like aerodynamic.